I'd like to welcome everybody to come uh, for taking time out of your afternoon to come to a promotional ceremony for the Huntsville Police Department. It's always uh, very important for us to recognize the people that have excelled in their careers and that have achieved milestones in their careers by either promotion or uh, through awards. And in this particular promotional ceremony, we have uh, several talented individuals that have, have achieved promotion to uh, within the police department. The first thing I'd like to do is I'd like to call on Councilman Will Culver to offer us an invocation. And then after that, Captain Jess Henry Malone will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Let us pray. Father of grace and of mercy, giver of all good and perfect gifts, Father God, we come as always and no differently on this occasion, giving you that deserving praise, honor, and glory. Father, we come acknowledging and recognizing these outstanding officers, Father, who are advancing in the ranks and advancing in their assignments. Father, we just pray that you would lead them and guide them in the decisions that they make and keep your everlasting arms of protection around them as they discharge their duties daily. For it is, your name, for it is in your name that we pray and we claim these blessings. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, one other thing I'd like to tell you is, is that the promotions that we'll make today, uh, traditionally the police department has made promotions prior to an assignment uh, of the individual that's promoted. In this particular instance, we've, we've had to deviate from the tradition and some of these individuals that are promoted have actually been serving in the capacity since January. And they have stepped right up, they have not missed a beat, and they have performed admirably. Uh, they have actually been involved in situations and had to uh, handle things that some supervisors uh, hope they never have to handle in their career. But they've all done very well, and I'm very proud of them. Uh, but they have all been serving already in their positions. And uh, with that in mind, uh, we'll move on. And I'd like to introduce you to the city administrator, Mr. John Hamilton. Thanks, Chief. I just want to take a moment to, uh, number one, to welcome you all here to, uh, to City Hall uh, to, to see what I think in most cases probably your friends or your loved ones get promoted. Uh, and to those that are getting promoted, uh, congratulations. I'll tell you, we are not promoting you because you've done a great job for us. We're promoting you because we know that you have the potential to do even more for many years to come. Uh, and so uh, as you move up in rank, uh, that comes with a lot of responsibility. Uh, and we are absolutely convinced you have the potential to, to meet the obligations of that new rank. So congratulations, it's, uh, it's well deserved. Uh, and it's my honor now to, to introduce you to uh, Mayor Tommy Battle, uh, who will uh, deliver some remarks. Moving up the ranks, congratulations. Uh, congratulations, and, uh, that's, and you're being promoted because of what happened yesterday, and today you're starting to make the history of tomorrow. And uh, you will now move into a command position, and you will now move into a position that has more authority, that has um, has more responsibility to it. And John and I just came off the arsenal. We came to, came from a change of command uh, uh, function where the new uh, new general for AMP, from AMCOM came in, who's going to be heading up Army Aviation. And I thought there's a real parallel here because each one of you are going to be taking over a new command, a new place, or finally getting recognized for taking over a new command, a new place, for having more responsibility and taking over more of a function and a job of what has to be done in this community. I want to say thank you. Thank you for the work that you do. Thank you for the work that you will do, because it is very important what you do reflects on our quality of life, the idea that we have a community that is safe, uh, that is well ordered and that we have a society that is one that each person has rights and lives in So thank you for the job that you're doing. Thank you for the job that you will do and I'd like to say to our councilman Thank you for coming uh, This is very important, but it's important to show 
that we have broad, broad support. And for those on the Police Advisory Committee, thank you for coming to. Uh, the broad support that we have here in this community is very special for our police and law enforcement. And it's something that we never should take for granted because each person provides that on a day-to-day -day basis. And this community provides support on a day-to-day -day basis and so provides a wide range of support to our law enforcement community. And that's something that's very special that you don't find in every community. So congratulations to those being, uh, being moved forward. And thank you for the job that you're doing. But to everybody else who's here to watch these guys get promoted, you have done a job in the past that has made a difference in this community. And I want to tell you that from, uh, from the citizens on behalf of those 189,000 citizens in Huntsville, thank you for the job that each of you do every day. Now is the time that I think we've been waiting for since January. Give you a little history. We needed to promote some individuals to vacant positions, and we did with every intention of having a promotional ceremony. Uh, and then we had to promote some more individuals to backfill. And then we had a tornado on the day that we were going to have this event. And then we had some logistical scheduling issues. So we made some more promotions, and now we're here today. And uh, I'm glad the day's here. How about y'all? <laughs> our first promotion, uh, our promotions to lieutenant. And the first individual is uh, Lieutenant Kevin O'Connell, who has been with the police department for 24 years. And his new assignment is on the North Precinct on third shift. Also promoted to Lieutenant is Lieutenant Larry Childress. Larry is a 20-year veteran of the police department, and he was also recipient of the Supervisor of the Year in 2012. And uh, he is assigned to the West Precinct second shift as a shift commander. Congratulations, Larry. Thanks. All right. Sergeant promotions. Uh, promoted to sergeant, Sergeant John Van Campen. John is a retired Navy veteran. Uh, he has been with the department six years. He was a recipient of a life-saving medal in 2011, and his assignment is uh, shift supervisor in North Precinct on third shift. Congratulations. <laughs> is Sergeant Dana Springfield. Sergeant Springfield is a 16-year veteran of the police department. He, in 2013, he was a recipient of a life-saving medal, and in 2008, he received the department's highest award, the Medal of Valor. Uh, he's assigned South Precinct Third Ship. Congratulations, sir. <laughs> Sergeant Nathan Jackson. Sergeant Jackson's a 12-year veteran of the police department, <laughs> and he has a lot of support here. And we're very proud of him, and he needs the support. We all do. Uh, he is assigned to South Precinct, South Precinct Third Ship. Congratulations. <laughs> we have our promotions to investigator, which is a, a position in the police department that uh, uh, a, lot, a lot of people want. And uh, I'm very proud of all these individuals that we're promoting, and I look forward to a lot of good work from them. Uh, first promotion to investigator is uh, Investigator Gregory Hayden. An 11-year veteran of the police department. He has prior law enforcement experience. In 2004, he was awarded a life-saving medal, and he's assigned to the burglary unit. Congratulations. Next promotion to investigator is Investigator Stephen Jackson. He's awarded the Life-Saving Medal in 2001 and also in 2014, and he's assigned to our Domestic Violence Unit. Congratulations. <laughs> is Investigator Shane Killingsworth. 
Shane's a 15 year veteran of the police department and he has prior experience uh, from another department and he is assigned to our robbery unit. Congratulations. <laughs> Gator Will McDonald. <laughs> Will's a 21 year veteran of the police department, served a lot of time on the SWAT team, currently on the SWAT team. 2001, he was awarded the Medal of Valor, and he is assigned to our, uh, he's assigned to the DV unit, specifically to the child abuse unit. Congratulations. Next promotion to investigator uh, is investigator Bill Gray. <laughs> Bill's went, been with the department 12 years and he is assigned to the North Precinct General Investigations. He came from the uh, school resource unit. <laughs> His investigator Tony Shivers. Tony is a nine-year veteran of the police department, and he is assigned to the West Precinct General Investigations. Those are promotions to the sworn ranks, and when people think of the police department, they always think of the police officers, but the civilian personnel in the police department are critical to our functions, and we couldn't do our job without them. And we have a promotion to a records division supervisor, and that is Miss Karen Norris. And she'll supervise records division on second shift. And her son is also a lieutenant, right? Jerry, stand up. <laughs> Say, congratulations, Mom. Uh, but there are some other awards that I want to announce, and some of the individuals may be here, and some of them may not be. If you are here, uh, I'd like for you to come down if I call your name. And those awards are the awards that we give throughout the department each year. That is our Supervisor of the Year, uh, Officer of the Year, and Employee of the Year. And each precinct has, has that. Out of the North Precinct, the Supervisor of the Year was Sergeant Ron Glass, and the officer of the year was Officer Brad Snipes. Out of the South Precinct, Supervisor of the Year was Sergeant Dan Dean, and the officer of the year was Officer Byron Thompson. West Precinct, Sergeant Steve Lohorn was Supervisor of the Year, and Officer Johnny Hollingsworth was Officer of the Year. Sergeant Joe Jenkins was a Supervisor of the Year in the Special Operations Division, and Officer Pat Salville was the Officer of the Year in the Special Operations Division. And our Administrative Bureau Employee of the Year was Miss Debbie Craddock, who I know she's here. That's okay. It was a surprise. But thank you again for coming, and I look forward to, to working with all of you so that we can progress in the police department. Thank you.